do you think it's going? Sorry, it's skip the skip the intro. This shit, I mean the countdown. This shit is fucking funny as fuck. You ever fucking see somebody be racist and but complain when other people? I I I, I thought that that phrase up in my head, way different. You ever see somebody complain about somebody being racist and then be racist in that same breath? Meet Sam Cedar and his fucking, his cronies, I should call them. Yo, tell me why that these motherfuckers are mad at a black female making money. I, I've never seen the likes of it, yo. I've never seen the likes of it. Let me What's going on here, man? Like, like you sort of follow this. Like, like, sort of like is, she, is she like waning? Is her value waning when it, the, oh like, are, are they running out of gas? With My, let me, oh, excuse me. Let me remind you what this dude's even getting into. Now, he's mad that fucking the people at the Daily Wire got more ideas than just whatever format these motherfuckers got going on. Where's my lighter at? I just had that shit. God damn it. God fucking damn it. But yeah, nah. Would you ever believe such a thing? You, you, you know what I mean? Like, they're mad at another another organization progressing progressing opposed to just doing the same format of two people side by side split screen yeah, but it gets even better than that yo you, this you wokeism know, stuff Sam, Sam, I'm sorry, I don't Sam. know no, like Sam. I feel like I thought she'd be waning by now and I don't think she is super waning um, I well, but well, we'll maybe, yeah, but maybe, maybe they run out of gas. I promise you, when something that no. ha will never happen, I will do this, is uh, the formula here. <laughs> um, listen, when we... You hear that now, right? This dude's mad because they're probably never going to have a show in Hawaii, Doug. Who the fuck wouldn't want to have a show in Hawaii? What is wrong with this guy? You ever hear capitalism? This is what cap the other side of capitalism looks like. When another when another company is doing better than you, you shit on them. You shit on them. We ultimately so get to uh, Fiji for our live majority <laughs> report podcast. Wow. I'm going to promise you this: wow, the ge the guests that we're going to have on there are going to put like the Oscars to shame. And yeah, do you think the, like that? The, the, the hotel that, rooms will be staggering, will be immaculate. We're exactly. putting up every one of you in a private no, Fiji hotel. When we suite. do our no, Fiji not. Majority Report Live, every no, one of you is going to be Gigi. in the presidential Fijian hotel suite. Uh, here is Candace Owen promising wow. what she's going to do when she's president. <laughs> Uh, let me get to so it. Visa that card. shit's fucking crazy, A metal bro. card. <laughs> powered <laughs> by crypto. You can only imagine how this is going to go. <laughs> you, you, you only are going to imagine how this is going to go from here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, the racism shit is off the charts. It's off the charts. Just watch. Just watch. Yeah, if I ever amazing. do it, if I ever amazing. decide that I am going to run for president, if I ever actually make it all the way... I won't vote for you, bitch. I will not be voting for you, ever. You are you just as bad as the other, just as bad as them. If not I worse. Right there. I mean, do we really need to see any more of that clip? I mean, that is what? What? Is, what the? Wow. Already Doug. Already mad. And the chicks. He's only seen three seconds of the chick fucking intro introing into her audience. Wow. Sam. So why, the Daily Wire is one? giving her a daytime talk show format. Is that what it is? I mean, okay. that's what, what it's like. That's like a Wendy that's Williams like. crowd. That's like an Ellen DeGeneres wow. crowd. This is kind of glass houses, Sam. The why wouldn't she say Oprah? Or you know what I mean? Or I don't know. Fucking um, what was that other dude with the funky mustache? Anybody? She could have said anybody. Why she go with Willie, Wendy Williams first, and then Ellen? Knowing that fucking, there's a couple of YouTubers that, that's gone mainstream, whatever, but I'll, I'll let you guys be salty. The way you talk about wow. running against Chuck Schumer, but I guess it's we, true. The way we applaud. It, it's true. Wow. It's true. Yeah, it's, also, I love now. that tight They're shot. I wonder if there's audience. more than nine people in that wow. studio. Yes, very yeah. tight shot. But, all right, let's play, keep, keep more, playing. Keep playing. Let's start it over we'll again be because it was sort of like so much so we'll shocking that it was, uh, it was like I, uh, I lost track of. I mean, and the idea then of all the right wing pundits, they want to make her the one that runs for president. It's just so wow. cynical just because she's a black wow. woman. She is not good at that. Wow. Wow. Just because she's a black woman. What happened to the color of whatever the character, the content of my character? What happened to that? This is what 
race race realization gets to you gets you fucking nowhere getting mad because she's a black woman with a fucking tv show format it's, on she's YouTube not a good right wing pundit she doesn't have anything wow. to new to say but keep going and no one of them does but um, you keep going yeah, keep if going. i ever do it no, if i ever decide that i am I going to it. run for president wow. if i ever actually make it all the way If I ever actually like, make it you, all the way you be putting to more the black White people House, in jail. I promise you all, you put more of us I will in jail. do everything you within my cunt. constitutional power to make wow, these no, this is people amazing. pay. Every politician, every judge, ah. every lying media member who Fuck has taken you. part yeah, in the yeah. that January 6th <laughs> is like okay. 9-11. I'm going to make them pay. I'm going to make them pay for treason. <laughs> we all know... That um, she does not have as President Owens, when presumably like um, when she becomes president. But like every other politician, she will lie to get your votes. I don't understand why I say he's been here before. Uh, he, he's more he's more more knowledge or more smartest than I am. What, what the f why are you so mad, bro? Why are you mad that Candace she comes eligible got a to show? run and then runs and then he and called wins. Candace? Like, dude, you could already see it if this shit was to go mainstream. What? What? Let a Fox fucking network be us or whatever other one right ring fucking network that's out there. Give her a chance, bro. What? You can see her name being written in, in cursive with a with a fucking glittery thing at the end. Bling! Candace. It's catchy, bro. You guys don't know how to market. Well, you ever learn of it? Never heard of a Jew that didn't know how to market something? That's fucking crazy. Fucking racism. Oh, my fault. That's not how you turn it on. Presumably, from like that position, like she's going to run just after she has hosted that show. Wow. Um, you cannot charge people uh, for you know contributing to a narrative. Um, <laughs> his president. I just wanted to make that clear. That's interesting too. I thought, I thought they were the free give, speech uh, like, you know, people, you know, right? You're going to charge people for uh, claiming Jerry something's Springer. worse than 9 11. I, I would say tickets. that precedent might be um, uh, worrying oh. to people who have been contributing to anti vax bullshit, but uh, continue. Yeah, yeah it'd be interesting. Well, but she's, when she comes in, she's also going to ride a tide of uh, the, uh, uh, the, um, the uh, plebiscite on the amending the Constitution Ooh. to give the president powers to. Um, to charge people with treason who contribute to a narrative she doesn't like. Yeah, that's going to be a very fun prison. Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. In fact, maybe we, never, putting, we, exactly. we didn't say the 9-11 exactly. stuff. That was just like corny Democrats. I think we're going to fall into it. Yeah. Trying you? to like build her defense. Yeah, uh, no, uh, no, Candace, scared. please do not lock us up. Lock <laughs> us up for all the other things we say. All right, let's play this. This is great. Yo, yeah, it is great. I expect her next, next up. We're going to have um, <laughs> next up. We have Ben Shapiro's wife here to show us how to make a, a great um, uh, salad dish. It's like he, he sees the, view, the future of the show, but he doesn't want to see the future of the show. <laughs> you know, because if white wings ain't being racist, if right wings are making apple pies and baking banana bread, I don't think fucking Sam wants to see. He wants them to be raw racist to the core. But he's joining them. You, know, you can make it home with chickpeas. Yes. Yes. It's sexist. <laughs> sexist. A solid dish that distracts from your terrible sexist sex life. <laughs> I'm going wow. to make them... Not, you know, we'll have fucking gun, what do you call it? Gun control, whatever. We're going to have two women baking pastries. Not only are we sexist, oh, my fault. Not only are we racist, but we push sexism to a whole new level. Pay, and I'm going to make them pay for treason. We all know. <laughs> we all know what January 6th was. For the most part, it was a warning shot stupid. fired two patriots from the communists that are fighting to take over our country. Actually, it wasn't stupid. It is how I look at it, how is the left. I know that is how is the right conservatives look at the radical left. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, you shouldn't be rioting homes and shit like that. Yeah, when you're mad, you just let your anger out, especially when the police ain't letting you fuck up government buildings which the radical left should have been attacking. Just like these crazy right-wingers that attacked the thing. That's what you guys should do. You shouldn't be attacking citizens and stop, stopping private roads and 
doing all this other extra bullshit, knowing that the government don't give two fucks. You're not bothering my transit home. The fuck do I care? You guys fucking hurt the wrong people. You, you don't get it. And this guy right here, and, and other people like the Young Turks, and a couple of other non-blase blases, that's the narrative they want to push. They want to push us against them so that they're always fight. We're always fighting, and they get collecting the bill. They're always collecting the check off of our grievances. Remember that. Remember that. That's our union. Our union is you guys, because I wouldn't give these motherfuckers a goddamn dime. You guys giving these yokels money to be angry. On your damn, I should have paused that. Skip trial. Get back to this. Let it go. Let it ride. Come on, get in there. It was an attempt which involved participation oh, the and pa the pa the pa aggregate Pause, you don't have to take it off the screen. Keep it up on the screen. But it was a warning shot fired to patriots from communists? Wait, what? Yeah. Let's, Let's go it. back. Go back. Because I, 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 are we supposed to be warned or did we send the warning shot? <sighs> That's a good question. You have a problem? Oh, you have a problem. Six, seven, eight, eight. We all know what January 6th was. Stop For the most part, the it was a warning shot fired two patriots from the communists that are fighting to take over our country. Two patriots from the communists. Okay, okay pause it again. I'm sorry. And aggregate. So she's mm -hmm. close. She's, you can keep it up, Bradley. She's, I think she's trying to build the narrative that there was a false flag. What? Really? It was a warning shot from, I mean, Tucker, Tucker Carlson's claiming it's a false flag, but without saying it so much uh, like regularly. FBI, yeah, FBI incited it or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, FBI, the, the communist. The communist, communist FBI. FBI. Right. Okay, Obviously. I got you. No, that makes more sense. Well, communist intersectional FBI. Exactly. Got I mean, can I, I where can even, I vote for that? I would even say that young Kyle was part of the fucking, some sort of narrative. Because did we see how this dude was pointing his gun? How he was running away from people and pointing his gun up? That looked very boy from Brazilish, if you ask me. But now nah, still, free Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, we want you free, bruh. Be out, be out there shooting. Old, uh, no, let's not get racist again. I'm the Fox Mulder of the Communist FBI. <laughs> Fire two patriots from the communists that are fighting to take over our country. It was an attempt which involved participation and aggregate aggravation from the highest levels of the United States government in coordination with big tech and the corporate media to criminalize patriotism. <laughs> makes patriotism a dirty word to break the spirit of Americanism. Wait, we pause again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. sorry. This is word. so to criminal. This ain't real word. God damn it, you fucking communist bastards. Capitalist communist bastards. To criminalize patriotism and make it a dirty word. So, like, criminalizing words? That, that would be wrong, right? Meanwhile, uh, if you compare January 6th to 9th... You do that, though. 11. I'm that going to try you for part. treason. <laughs> there were words she did say that I agree with when it says it's aggravation from the highest levels of government. Yeah, the president saying the election was stolen. That's that's what, that, that's that's what actually happened. I'm trying to... I, like, I am no really longer, honestly... No honestly... The Trying to place myself race. in the mindset of the people sitting yeah. in the audience and trying to figure out if they can time. understand what she's saying. Like, I can't even like. What do? Yeah. What? What do they think want she to. wants them to think? Yeah, exactly. You don't want like, to. it was a warning shot to. from the communists to the American patriots female. on January sixth. I realize you and that other dude from fucking um the Daily Wire who don't get jokes are the same type of person. You don't want to get it. You don't want to get it at all. So to you, it's just a bunch of to hogwash. To others listening to it, it means something. Oh, God. Because of the aggra aggravation from the highest levels well, of man, government. But that's Trump. Why would inside. Trump be? No, no, no. He's not. It's yeah. the deep state. They are higher yeah. than Trump. Even though I thought Donald Trump was supposed to go in Everybody there is. and. Is the that what state. you're saying? Honestly. Like... The, the, yes, yes. That the Can communist. How are you not following this? The communist FBI and the deep state worked and big tech all already. work together with the people already. that hate the Look Patriots to back. stage the false flag January 6th operation in order to take over the country. Because what you can't say is uh, it was right that those people went and stormed the Capitol because the election was stolen. <laughs> like, which is what she really, like, that's the message that she was... sent in there. But she's got to be honest. I mean, I like the way that she starts it off by going, like, we Super all know what that was. And now I'm going to say something that's almost completely incomprehensible. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like, you can't even... I don't care how deep you're in this, you will not be able to follow uh, to what I'm saying. There's just, I mean, like, there's no, like, I'm not even questioning her theory. I just don't even understand what she's talking about. It's like a, it's like one of those them. Asher paintings where it's like, yeah. it just sort of like, just like flipping back in. Wait, am I looking at the stairs or no? Wait a second. That doesn't, I can't yeah. walk through those. And okay. everyone in the audience, like, doesn't even know what. It's crazy. That picture. Oh, I, I get what he's saying. That picture that he's talking about is Ultra 3D. If you watched Rick and Morty, it kind of shows you how you run through it. 
just fucking run through it. Just, you know what I mean? Reality is what it is as you're going through it. You fucking stares over there. If your perception perceives it to be this way, you just, it's just Jedi tricks, dude. Just, oh, God damn it. Y'all are smarter than me. They're clapping for They all just have, long, they all have long COVID, well, so yeah, they just don't know where they're at. We should back up a little bit, because I love, I think, I appreciate that they include those audience shots, because I think it's uh, demystifying a little bit. I, exactly. I also, wow. I also would love to see, like, like a, any if they had, like, a slow, real life dolly option. tracking shot uh, as she's saying that part, just so that we could see the what? looks, like, how, like, the intensity Holy of fuck. how they're they trying to figure out what any, is she Anybody else is doing any late night show? All right, go ahead. Yeah, put, put it back. Any Let's late night show? You're a fucking fool. Stop being mad, yo. We all know what January 6th was. For the most part, it was a warning shot fired to patriots from the communists that are fighting to take over our country. Oh, like it was an attempt which like involved participation this, and the aggravation from the highest levels of the United States government in coordination with big tech and the corporate media to criminalize patriotism. To make patriotism a dirty word. To break the... Let me get just one thing straight. Why I hate this female. Is she gonna claim that there's no racism, but yet fucking in her early days sue somebody for fucking racism? That's why I don't like her. Hypocrisy at its highest level. Or not its highest level, but it's up it's get, it's not as bad as Sam here. Sam here get, takes the fucking cake on hypocrisy. But hers, I get it. Money is to be made. You, you gotta do what you gotta do. Spirit Holy of Americanism. Fuck. When we think about veterans, we tend to think I about this? people who fought wars overseas Why not make an and came home with the people TV show, and the evil ideologies YouTube that we show. have to stand up to today. Daily whatever show. They're right here. We're the veterans. <laughs> but, which means that in a way, we all have an opportunity to become a United States veteran. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, by screaming the truth as loudly and as often as they scream I'll, the lie. I'll, I'll, like I'll let y'all rock. January 6th was not, not an insurrection. It wasn't. That was a scream. Yeah, I, I, got, I got excited. I thought she was gonna. I did yell. too. Like, can you get? Well, she does that disqualify her from a purple heart because she didn't scream it? Is that what? I All right, so let's get this break straight. A lot of people call themselves veterans, and a lot of things. Music. If you're a fucking, if you've done whatever you, if you've done something for a long fucking time, you might consider yourself a veteran. So it's, it's almost like a slang word now. I mean, she's probably saying they're like, yeah, if you've been fighting for, you know, your voice to be heard for such a long time, you could be called a veteran. You're in, And if you're fighting for it as well, like if you're fighting for, I don't know, your kids not being vaccinated, whatever the fuck you want to, whatever you want to fight for, if you're fighting for that shit for a long, a long period of time, you could be a veteran of that thing. You could be a veteran activist. You could be a veteran of a lot of things. You don't have to get a purple heart. And like, there's a lot of veterans out there that don't get purple hearts. Oh, are you fucking are you guys morons? No, my my fault. I forgot you all. But imagine, <laughs> like, like Wrong. you know. Listen, I wonder if I'm sitting at home and I'm or I'm seeing that audience and I'm like, I'm a veteran, and you're telling me that you get to be a veteran too if you say January 6 was not an insurrection. That's all you got to do. I, I fucking moron. Do you get the VA benefits now for that? Because I probably would have rather not gone you over to Iraq veterans. or Afghanistan. If you're a veteran in hip hop, do you think them dudes get? Well, they do probably get certain benefits. Yeah, yeah. So I bet you, if if Candace Owens considers herself a fucking veteran, said whatever you want to get purple hearts, and you might not get those medical benefits, but she might be able to go to another concern. I'm never gonna get through this. All right, let's hurry up and fucking and, or get to Vietnam this or uh, to Korea or any of those places. Uh, to uh, become a veteran if you just get to do it by saying January 6th was not an insurrection. Yeah. Look, looking across Applebee's, but like, hey, did you get your uh, well, <laughs> discount on that finishing yeah. Alfredo like oh, I did? Yeah. Right, exactly. You're not eligible this for that is. USAA uh, insurance now, are you? Because I'm going to go straight to uh, Army Surplus after this. I understand what she's saying now. She was saying it was a false flag. Mm -hmm. She was saying that there were elements of the U.S. government that were God not Donald Trump y all, y all who were instigating the attack just to besmirch oh, well, the word patriots. Fault, but yeah, but They're all dupes. He's, he's simultaneously. Fault, yeah. I, f I forgot how left capitalism goes. We got to shit on her ideology. Her ideology. And not the fact that she's a fucking black. Well, that shit comes later. The fact that, that shit's like the, the, the frosting on the cake. You know what I mean? That's what you see before you get to the deadly center. You feel? You look at you look at a a velvet black female that says right wing on it, and you're like, "Ugh, I don't want that." 
But the strongest uh, leader on, on planet Earth and also this just like completely person. unable to stand up to the deep state. But I don't understand, like, the, the, this is the way the logic breaks down. Like, if the election was stolen days. from Trump, why would it be bad what those people did on January 6th? No. That's the point, though. That's, she has, well, that's the thing. They have bad. to deny oh. the stolen. She's saying that it was basically, like, again, the, the, the written owl shit. It just so happened to be only four people involved in that madness. One shoot, one massive shooter, shooting only three people, accurate like. You know what I mean? Especially how the fucking the the if the 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 first black dude he was about to shoot was part of it, and then he heard the, the gunshots and death was like I'm here and he was like yeah you know what, I take a rain check, and then walked on by, and yeah I, maybe. I don't, where am I going with this? Weed thoughts. Weed thoughts. Election. And then they, but they, 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 da, da, they that's the aggravation they, part. <laughs> no, because they want, the reason that it was bad, oh, that God. it was a false flag that the communists staged this January 6th thing is because they wanted to, to make, make Trump look bad? the patriots look yeah. bad. Yeah. Uh, and that like, they, well, they didn't stage it. They didn't stage it. They lured those patriots into like cattle. It was like a honeypot. You know <laughs> like, It was like a honeypot. Uh. And, and they lured them in and uh. to make them look bad. Yeah. yeah as if they, yeah, they all thought they was she just doing ad libs for this nigga? She was like, "Ooh, ah, uh, yeah." Yo, you tell him, bae. They were actually patriots, but they lured him in to make him look bad. Like cattle out of feedlot. Forced us to do this. <laughs> that, like her, what like she gave that was sort of like, did you, you remember, uh, you guys ever see Animal House? Did you see that yes. movie? Okay, you remember when uh, Belushi was like, was it over when the when the Germans attacked Pearl the Harbor? Spanish. <laughs> What? And everybody's like, oh. he's on a roll. <laughs> That's they had that really that like type you? of energy where people are just like, hey, we're here. Like you. I, I wonder how many family members are there. It's a fucking talk show format, bro. What are you telling me? Jerry Springer has all of his fucking guests, family members. Steve Wilco has all family guests. What's that fucking dude that Oprah? Oh, Oprah had all family guests. Why do you hate this black girl? She's not lost. She seems like she has. She's navigated. Why do you hate her, Sam? Curiouser and curiouser. Because it's not like this fucking. Uh, is she blonde? Is that strawberry blonde? Fucking something to stage left, wearing a fucking forever. Lumberjack's shirt? Is it mad? But are you mad because she doesn't have a fucking show that any, like, well, like, uh, he's fucking, um, damn, there was so many fucking talk shows back in the day after school. Holy fuck. Chubby, skinny, chubby girl. What the fuck is her name? It doesn't matter. You're just mad that homegirl on the left is not that. I'll, go on. I'll tell you though, you yeah, look at that, you really are like, whoa, Candace Owens, this is working. It's like a black exit or whatever well, it is well, that they were look, running out. Black wow. The thing is, is like wow. I have come across certain yeah, people who are like, uh, look, I have wow. this black family member who, um, uh, like, is sucked into this. Now, yo, I, I should have gotten into this because I didn't know what was coming up. Yo, <laughs> holy fucking shit! This dude would get mad at that other dude that they so so in quote unquote ambushed for an interview. Yo, this dude made a fucking black farmer's joke on the same level as this bullshit right here that this nigga's saying. You, you feel me? The same exact shit, dog. The same exact joke. Oh, whoever known of a black farmer being, whoever a black guy being a farmer, knowing that black dudes are probably made for farmers. Slaves was farmers, you fucking ignorant piece of shit. But we're talking about this ignorant piece of shit. What the fuck, dog? Black people can't make money how they want to make money? Holy fucking shit. And don't give me that. It's because, you know, conservatives don't they care. Conservatives, every conservative, black or white, only care about their own. The ones they love. You know what I mean? If you want to be a lazy part of society and don't care about those conservatives, they're not going to care about you. Make money however the fuck you want to make money. Leave me the hell out of it. That's how I believe they think. Your side, it's you got probably 60% of people doing what you're doing. That's 60. 40% of people just trying to make it. When they ask for government assistance, they don't get it. 
So they keep trucking on. Then you got another fucking 20% that sits there and just, you know, they wait. Oh, they know they're going to get theirs. They'll stretch out, do their thing. Don't use the money for what they need to use the money for, but whatever. And then you got those other people that are just like, fuck it. Whatever comes to me, comes to me. You want her to be a fucking video vixen. That's all black girls are fucking in your eyes. In, in, in your eyes, all black people should just be doing hip hop and fucking mm-hmm. drug dealing. How do I count it? On a whatever level. Yes. Yeah. So, like, I think, like, yes. that's how I was poo pooing yes. Candace Owens for, like, the first three or four wow. years, but she's actually why? getting some traction. And, I mean, not that that audience wow. uh, that's why. Uh, shows that in, in any wow. way. At right, wow. right, right. I think that is true. Wow. I mean, I, it's sort of inevitable, wow. isn't it, on some level? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I would imagine. What? Um, Again, you know, it's inevitable. You didn't I mean, think you're going to. idea. Because you didn't People think that was it. I mean, I, I would imagine mad, even Ben Shapiro probably. That's weird old <laughs> some girl shit. With... And this shit uh, I wouldn't go that far. Right. Wow. There you have it. Fucking three. Oh, I'm going to be racist on this one. Three white people mad at a black female for having a fucking talk show format on any, on any, whatever. That is crazy, my dude. That is crazy. That I don't. And it's funny how you people. Do, I don't. You y'all don't see how that is, yo. You'll complain about someone being like, "Oh, that person, oh, a black person can't be a farmer," but you're gonna sit there and say a black person can't be a conservative. Why? Because she's on to say that black people can't get. Oh, dude, we all know that. You people keep screaming shit that we already know. How are you gonna change it by arguing? Unless you fucking fight for it. And I don't mean citizens in companies that. Other little citizens have to work at. Just because those the citizens that ride and do all the other bullshit don't want to work at those places, some do. Some do, and you are all enabling these people. So you sit there on your fucking ivory tower complaining about a black girl making fucking conservative videos, dude. Holy shit, like I said, I'll tell that bitch fuck yourself just like I'll tell fucking Kamala Harris to go fuck herself. When she's sitting there throwing black people in jail for the uh, the tiniest bit of weed. The tiniest bit of weed. Unless there's, I mean, there's always records. So if she wants to prove otherwise, 